We're gonna go over the top 10 WooCommerce hosting companies one by one and talk about the pros and the cons for every single one of these companies. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly which one of these companies you should go with to host your WooCommerce website. And as a bonus for all these companies, I have the hookup. There's a link down below in the description with discounts on every single one of these companies. I have the best price for all these hosting companies anywhere you can find on the internet. So no matter which of these hosting companies you decide to go with, you can use the links down below to get the hookup discount price. But don't worry, I'm gonna reveal exactly which one of these are my favorite web hosting company and which one you should use. And the answer will depend on a couple different factors, but I am gonna tell you which one I think is the most affordable and best web hosting company out there. So so stay tuned for that. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis. I've done over $10 million in online sales and I've tried out a ton of different hosting companies. So make sure to smash the like button because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly which one of these that you should be using with. And let's get started first with SiteGround. And the first pro for SiteGround is they're actually one of the three companies that is recommended by WooCommerce themselves. There are only three companies that are recommended as hosts for WordPress slash WooCommerce, and SiteGround is one of them. The second is that it's very easy to set up a WooCommerce website using SiteGround as your host. They also have fairly affordable pricing, though they're not the most affordable. In fact, Hostinger is actually the most affordable hosting company, and I'm gonna be talking in depth about Hostinger later in this video. Make sure you stay tuned for that. SiteGround is also very reliable. They have fast servers, and if you sign up with SiteGround, you'll get a free SSL certificate as well. And an SSL certificate will make sure that all communications that happen via your website are secure. And you especially need an SSL certificate if you're planning on taking credit card payments or having passwords for your website, or if you're gonna be doing anything where your users are gonna need protection, you're gonna need an SSL certificate. And some hosting companies will actually charge you for an SSL certificate, but SiteGround will give this to you for free. As far as cons go for SiteGround, their pricing is mid-tier. Though recently they did lower their prices a little bit, but normally their prices are quite a bit higher than a lot of the other companies that we're gonna be talking about, including SiteGround, which is one of my favorite ones we'll be talking about later. Another huge con with SiteGround is they have pretty low amounts of storage on their plans. With their lowest plan, you're only allowed to store 10 gigabytes and you're only allowed to have 10,000 monthly visitors, which means if you're planning on uploading a lot of images and videos to your website, that SiteGround might not be the best option for you. They also have high renewal fees, which means that you pay a set low price when you first sign up, but after your initial period, if you do want to renew your contract and keep your website, you're gonna have to pay really high fees. SiteGround is also not available in every country. It's not available in India, for instance. And SiteGround used to be one of my favorite hosting companies, but I actually recently changed who I would recommend my favorite hosting company to be, and I'll be talking more about that hosting company later in this video. And before we get to the next hosting company, I wanna let you know that throughout this video, I'm gonna be explaining some terms like bandwidth, uptime, and page speed, and why these terms are so important. And you're gonna to need to understand these terms in order to make an educated decision on which host you're gonna go with. So keep watching and I'll explain these terms throughout the video. And the second hosting company we're gonna be talking about is Bluehost. And Bluehost is also recommended by WooCommerce and WordPress themselves. And it's probably one of the most popular hosting companies out there though I don't think it's one of the best, but it is a trusted company. In fact, the first time I ever purchased hosting, I purchased it from Bluehost. But if I were to purchase WooCommerce or WordPress hosting again today, knowing everything that I know, I would not choose Bluehost. And I'll get to why that is in just a minute. But they do have relatively cheap plans, and part of the reason why they have such cheap plans and they're able to offer such cheap prices is because what they do is they go around and they buy smaller hosting companies and they aggregate them together into a giant conglomerate company. But the biggest con that I have with Bluehost is they're actually overpriced. And I've had a ton of issues using Bluehost in the past, including the fact that my websites that are hosted with Bluehost, the page speed is very slow. And page speed is how fast your website loads. And when someone goes to your website, if it takes a long time for your page to load, they're going to leave your page and you're gonna lose that 
customer. So the fact that my websites with Bluehost took a long time to load is a huge problem. And one of the things that nobody talks about with Bluehost and the reason that they were able to get so popular so quickly is because they were one of the first hosting companies to offer an affiliate program. This is where people would create websites promoting Bluehost and this made it so that people would promote Bluehost over other hosting companies because they'd make money by being an affiliate for Bluehost. Even though other companies might have been better than Bluehost, a lot of people would promote Bluehost just to make that affiliate commission. Nowadays, pretty much every hosting company out there has an affiliate program. And to make this video 100% unbiased, I actually signed up for the affiliate programs for all of these companies. And because I signed up for an affiliate for all these different hosting companies, that means I get hookup discount prices that I can give to you. Again, there's links in the description with discounts for all of these companies. And that also means that I don't care which one of these hosting companies you go with. Just make sure to use one of the links down below in the description to get your discount. The next hosting company is a terrible one that I see so many people getting trapped into using because the company actually does an amazing job with marketing. And if you're not careful, you're gonna get roped and conned into using them as hosting. And you need to know that there are some huge cons with going with this company for hosting. And this company is GoDaddy. And there are not a lot of pros with using GoDaddy as your hosting company. They're a fine company to buy a domain name from. And a domain name is that www.whateveryourwebsitenameis.com. But even for that, GoDaddy is actually a little bit overpriced. I would go with Namecheap.com instead. GoDaddy just does a really good job at marketing. So a lot of people end up going to GoDaddy to buy their domain name, even though there are better options. And the one pro that I could think of with GoDaddy is they do have phone support. But literally, that is the only pro of going with GoDaddy that I can think of. And if phone support is something that you're really craving, there are other companies that I'm going to be talking about that do offer phone support as well. Now, there are a ton of cons for using GoDaddy as your hosting company. First off, they're overpriced. GoDaddy spends tons of money on marketing, getting people to buy a domain name, and once people buy a domain name with them, the real way they make their money is by getting you to add all kinds of extra features that you don't really need, including paying for overpriced hosting. The plans and pricing don't really make sense, and the user interface to creating a website is confusing to say the least. On top of all that, support can actually be very rude. And I know a lot of people that have had bad experiences with GoDaddy support. Now, before I go on to the next hosting company, make sure if you haven't yet to hit that like button because I spent thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours testing all these different hosting companies so that you don't have to, so that you can figure out which one is best. And I still haven't even announced what the best hosting company is. I'm saving that for later in this video. But our next hosting company, A2 Hosting, is actually a really great option. And it's one of the fastest hosting providers out there. So if you want a website that's gonna be really fast, A2 Hosting is a good option. They also have decent pricing for the kind of speeds that they're offering. However, for cons, they have relatively poor uptime. Their uptime is around 99.96%, which sounds good, but it's actually on the low end. And that means that 0.04% of the time, your website's just not gonna be available. And for those that don't know, uptime is how often your website is actually going to be available. And you want to be your uptime as close to 100% as possible, but it's nearly impossible to have a website that has a 100% uptime. Just like your electricity is usually on, every once in a while there is a blackout. The same thing is true with uptime with hosting companies. But the higher the uptime, the better. And part of the reason why I don't recommend A2 Hosting is they actually got hacked a few years ago and it seems like they never were able to fully bounce back from this. Another con with A2 Hosting is the backend can be relatively confusing and it's not the most beginner friendly hosting company to start your first website. HostGator is another popular WooCommerce hosting company. They have good customer service and relatively affordable prices. But here's a dirty little secret about HostGator. They're actually owned by the same parent company that owns Bluehost. And since Bluehost and HostGator are owned by the same parent company and HostGator is usually a little bit more expensive, I would recommend if you're thinking about one of these two options, just go with whichever one is cheaper. And the prices for HostGator and Bluehost change. Sometimes HostGator is cheaper and sometimes Bluehost is cheaper. 
I recommend clicking the links down below, seeing the pricing for Bluehost, seeing the pricing for HostGator, and just pick whichever one is cheaper. WP Engine is fast and reliable and has great customer support. And overall, it's probably the most professional and arguably the best hosting company out there. Except for the fact that it's not cheap. In fact, it is 10 times the price of all the other hosting companies. That being said, it is a great hosting company if you're a beginner that's willing to spend a little extra money and you don't wanna get involved in any of the technical stuff that you might have to deal with with running a website. And they have really amazing uptime, great page speed, and great support. And if you have a lot of money to spend, then WP Engine might be a good option for you. But I personally would not recommend them because they are overpriced. InMotion is another popular hosting company, but I couldn't really find a lot of pros for them. They do have good speed compared to a lot of other hosting companies out there, but as a con, they're just more expensive and you don't really get anything extra for the extra money that you're spending with InMotion. They're also one of the slower hosting providers out there. Now there's just two more hosting companies left, including Hostinger, which I think is the most affordable company out there. But before we get into that, let's talk about DreamHost. And DreamHost is the third company that is recommended by WordPress and WooCommerce themselves. But other than that, I don't see any advantages for going with DreamHost. They're more expensive, they're slower and less reliable than most of the other companies we've talked about so far. They also have poor uptime and the prices continue to go up despite the fact that their service isn't great. And that brings us to Hostinger, which is the most affordable hosting company out there. And I do have the hookup with them and there's a link down below in the description that you can use to take advantage of that discount pricing. On top of that, if you use the coupon code Travis, you're gonna get an extra 10% off. But the crazy thing about Hostinger is not only are they one of the most affordable hosting companies out there, they're actually really good. They're fast, reliable, they have an easy one-click setup for getting you set up with WordPress or WooCommerce, which means that Hostinger is one of the easiest companies out there to create a website with. And if you sign up with Hostinger in just a few minutes, you're gonna have your own WordPress or WooCommerce website where you can start accepting payments. And I actually feature them in a lot of the different videos here on this YouTube channel. I have tutorials showing you step-by-step -step how to use Hostinger to create your own WooCommerce website. And the Hostinger operates pretty much all over the place and they have their services available in over 40 different language. But that being said, there are some cons with Hostinger. First off, they don't offer phone support. So if that is something that's important to you, Hostinger is probably not the right option for you. The backend can also be a little glitchy at times. They have their own patented H panel. Most companies use a C panel, but you have to have a license to use that technology. And one of the ways that Hostinger is able to save money is they don't use C panel, they use H panel instead, which makes it so that they can have their prices be a lot lower. And usually H panel works really well, but sometimes you might run into some issues. I will say that the customer support is usually very helpful if you do run into any technical issues. And I'll also say that they have worked out a lot of the glitches. It's gotten a lot better in the last year or two. Another thing to note is they do have relatively high renewal fees. So I recommend when you sign up for your hosting or plan to sign up for as long of a term as possible. I would recommend signing up for the four year plan. And now drum roll, let's talk about the winner for the best hosting company out there. And the truth is, it depends on what you are looking for. If you want the fastest hosting company out there, I'd go with A2 Hosting. If you want the most reliable hosting company, go with WP Engine. But now I wanna to reveal to you what I think is the best overall hosting company out there, the best bang for your buck. And honestly, it used to be SiteGround for me but I would say that now Hostinger is the better option. Hostinger allows you to store hundreds of gigabytes of data and you can create hundreds of different websites even with some of their discounted price plans. And even with their cheapest plan, you still get a free domain name, free email, and unlimited free SSLs. On top of that, Hostinger has data centers all over the world and their website builder makes it extremely easy to build a website. They even have a ton of different AI tools that'll make it so that you can build your website in just seconds. And you get all these features with Hostinger for about a third of the price that it would cost you to go with a company like SiteGround or Bluehost. Now I will say there is one other con with Hostinger that I haven't talked about yet, and that is that they're constantly raising their prices. When I first found out about Hostinger, it was only 99 cents a month. Now it's two or $3 a month. 
So if you're looking to create your own WooCommerce website, sign up fast for Hostinger before they increase their prices. And as I mentioned, you can use coupon code Travis to get an extra 10% off your hosting. So get started today, click the link down below to sign up for Hostinger or whichever of these different companies that you choose to go with. Again, I've got the hookup, I've got the best deals you can find on the internet. Click on those links and sign up to create your own WooCommerce or WordPress website today. Get that hosting, click on those links. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.